No. Now, there is a story uh, uh, that recounts the death of Adam, alayhi salam, and the story goes, and this is from Ubayy ibn Ka'b, you know, يرفعها إلى رسول الله, that he says that the Prophet وسلم, said that when Adam alayhi salam uh, felt his death approaching, he was craving the fruits of Jannah, so he asked his children, he said, go out and bring me some of the fruits of Jannah. So they went out to search for it. And Allah Alam, where they went and where they were heading, etc., etc., we don't know. It's, they don't tell us. But on their way somewhere, they met the angels of Allah Azza wa Jal and said, where are you going? He said, we, our father is craving some of the fruits of Jannah. They said, go back, faqad kufitum. You don't need that. Go back. So they go back. And when, they, when Hawa, you know, uh, sees the angels, she recognizes that they're going to come to take Adam alayhi salam. So, so they go and they take Adam's soul and they wrap the body and they wash the body and they bury the body and they tell them, this is your sunnah. This is what you do when someone dies. And that is the death of Adam alayhi salam. Right? We don't know exactly how many children he had, but he had children and they started to propagate and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us that between Adam and Nuh, there were 10 generations, 10 generations. How long did that last? We do not know. Because we don't know how long Adam lived. We don't know how long the next generation lived. So it's a very long period, but we don't know the length of that period. Alayhi Wasallam Ajma'een are 10 generations.